All right. Welcome, everyone. My name is Brian Sparks. I am with the HBC AI Advisory Council, and I welcome you this evening to what I think is a very special moment where we recognize over 120 students that participated in this year's student cluster competition. Thank you all for joining. I want to start this off by having uh, Michaela Telfer, the ISC 24 program chair, Thank say a few you, words. Thank you, Brian. What an enthusiasm and a high level of energy. I went to visit the student and I was impressed. It's amazing. Perhaps today is on this uh, stage to celebrate the cluster competition. In a couple of years, the best paper of ISC, who knows? I'm looking forward to seeing you growing professionally and following you uh, bringing success to ISC and to your career. And thank you, Brian, and the team for the organization. Thank you, Michaela. So it appears I've lost uh, the slides, but that's okay. Uh, my, my next speaker is Laurence Vivel, who comes from Weka as the CEO, and uh, he and Weka have been our sponsors for the past two years, and we couldn't do it without them. Thank you. Yeah, th thank you all. We're, we're actually approached last year by Gilad, and we talked about how important it is to keep growing the next generation of HPC, and now it's also AI uh, enthusiasts. So we asked, hey, are you willing to come and help us grow the next generation? And we've said, for sure. Um, as, as you know, overall data centers and HPC and AI are uh, built on this triangle of compute, networking, and, and data, I.O. Uh, at Tweka, we make the best uh, I.O. For, for this triangle, and we're hoping uh, to have a lot of success with this next generation, and we're proud to be sponsoring it. So thank you very much. Thank you, Laurent. So, Galad Shiner, who's our HBC Advisory Council Chairman, please. It's my turn? It uh, is. Okay. Um, how many years we're doing 13. the competition? 13. 13 years. Amazing. Um, so first, uh, first, I want to thank ISC, uh, Martin and Thomas and Neges and the entire ISC folks that are helping us. Um, I want to thank Brian and uh, Ophir, Ophir and David. They are somewhere, somewhere. here. Kind of the, yeah, the, the, king, the king and prince of the competition. Um, essentially, they're working with university teams for almost a year. Uh, the competition has an online, online part that, that went uh, for a couple of months. And then there is the on-site here, but there is a work with the students entire, almost the entire year with training and, and lectures and help and so forth. So it's a... It's an amazing effort, so you know, king, in, king and, and prince of the competition, uh, Ophir and David, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Uh, so I, I also want to thank the students. Um, it's, it's an effort to come here, it's an effort to participate. Um, motivation, essentially, it's, it's basically to learn about HPC and AI and how to run things to touch the hardware and, and run the software so and kind of experience everything. Thank you for being part, and I hope that you enjoy it. And if there are great things or you know, good things that you, you took from the competition, please let us know. If there are bad things, we don't really want to hear about that, but <laughs> only if you have to. Um, so we don't have too much time, but I, I prepared some um, paper here I want to read to you guys. Um, um, essentially, um, let's start. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Galad. Uh, so, as he mentioned, there are two parts to this competition. Uh, we, we started this remote or online version of it with the advent of COVID because we didn't want to stop doing what we were doing. And seeing how that was successful, we folded that in with the in-person. So it gives more opportunities for teams around the world to participate in this competition. Uh, so here's a list of uh, those remote teams, and it's all made possible by Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center and DKRZ. They loan out 
they're, they're, <laughs> they're best of breed supercomputers for the students to be able to have access to. I think they ran over a million CPU core time that was donated by these two institutions. So thank you very much for DKRZ and Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center for, for allowing that to happen. So the second part is the on-site component, the ones that for the past 13 years you guys have all seen in the exhibition hall this year. We were across the way because we're getting bigger and louder, right? really loud. So there's a difference between the on-site portion, as you can um, recall, is that each team brings in their own equipment. They work with the universities and mentors. They work with the resellers and OEMs to be able to get the equipment they need. They figure out exactly how they can get this all put together and still stay under the 6,000 watt um, cap. And uh, boy, oh boy, some of these machines you'll see, if, <laughs> they were screaming. Um, so this really gave the students a, a big opportunity to engage with our community beforehand, getting a good understanding of what it's like to figure out what their system design is going to be, how they can keep it under power, keep it to a budget, and then go through the procurement process. So let's, let's meet these teams. So first off, we have the Center for High Performance Computing, CHPC, from South Africa. EPCC, University of Edinburgh, UK. ETH Zurich from Switzerland. We've got a double university here with Hamburg University and Otto von Gerich University here from Germany. Nanyang Technological University from Singapore. National Tsinghua University from Taiwan. The Polytechnical University of Catalonia, UPC Spain. <laughs> and finally, Tsinghua University, China. All these teams did a variety of benchmarking and application challenges. Some were a little different on, online and some were a little different on site. We also had a secret application that they just worked on today. They didn't know what it was, but they did very good with OpenLB. So we, we put them through the ringer. Let's see how they did. So now the fun part, right? So for the online competition winners, we have two teams that are here today that also participated on site. The third place online competition award goes to Nanyang Technological University. Congratulations. Second place online competition award goes to Tsinghua University, China. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Here, you got a trophy. And as luck would have it, the first place team's not here, which is okay. But <laughs> Sun Yat-sen, University from China. So one other component here, which was, was amazing, um, and I want to give a special mention here, because DKRZ is working on a, on a GitHub project for ICON. These students did so well 
that they are going to ask them to send them their code and have it as part of the release, the next release, uh, with OpenMP and OpenACC. So these students are developing some amazing things that will be in your hands soon. All right, on site, and I imagine all of the teams are here, so let's go. Highest Limpack on site award. This team, it's their first time winning Limpack, and they did it with 337 teraflops with just four nodes, staying under 6,000 watts. And just, to, you know, it wasn't that long ago where that was a top 500 supercomputer. That winner is Tsinghua University from China. You'll need to hold. <laughs> All right. Final three. Third place on site award goes to ETH Zurich, <laughs> Switzerland. We'll send you the trophy. Hey, good job. Congratulations, ETH. Second place on site award goes to National Tsinghua University, Taiwan. Excellent. Congratulations. Michaela, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. First place on site award goes to a team that's now won it seven times. Seven times. And for their third trophy tonight, Tsinghua University, China. Excellent. Congratulations, Singwa. They didn't do it alone. They had a lot of help. Starting in December of last year when we announced the teams, the advisors quickly geared up and started working them very, very hard. Their mentoring, their support was invaluable to these students, and we're very thankful for their time. Also, the judges and the committee members, there was a, a lot of teams this year, 21 total, uh, to spend time with both on site and online that uh, required a lot of your time and it's really, really appreciated and, and, and it's very thanked by me and the students and by the rest of the organization. And again, of course, I'd like to thank all the teams. They all did a wonderful job on site, online. Wish everyone could be here. We will be, oh gosh, thank you, Weka. <laughs> Thank you, Weka. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an honor having you and, and your money. Thank you. <laughs> um, and of course, next year, always planning to be bigger and better. 
Um, so please continue to follow us. If you're, if you're a university that's looking to have your students participate, we are going to have applications starting in July. We would love more teams to come. Love more teams. It's a great opportunity for your students. And, and it's the one way that we can get this youth into this community and get them jobs. So thank you. Appreciate it. We might have a quick moment where we can actually get all the students right here so we can take a one or two pictures really quickly all together. Try to bunch in, try to bunch in, in between the two. Awesome, yeah, maybe, yeah, perfect experience. They should come a little closer. It's okay. All right, we good? Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you next year. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone. Where's National Singwa? Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Is there more than that? No? Okay, good. Okay, as you come down, we'll hand, hand more to you, okay? All the teams, here's your certificates. Where's Ophir? Yep, that way. All right, everyone, exit stage, leftish, rightish. Thank you. Thank you.